Welcome back, beautiful Expresso family. And this morning, we're getting into all kinds of conversations from sports to wives. I'm talking about particularly Wife Swap. Now, this is an incredible show where two women decide that they indeed are going to swap lives. And yes, we're talking about two ladies from different backgrounds, with different lifestyles, different values, and just differences from all sorts of spheres. And today, we get to chat to two ladies who indeed got to do this just for a week. But I can tell that just from that, it was life changing and when you get to do that i think you get to see life from another lens right i'm talking about us being joined by none other than the beautiful Nkaba Tishezi and Nostrelo Mokobi who are indeed the wives who got to have this experience and we get to hear from them all in the name of wife swap which happens right here on s3 each and every monday at 6 p.m ladies and gentlemen let's give them a feel good welcome please <laughs> Hello, my beautiful ladies. Good morning, honey. How are you guys? I'm great, I'm great. I'm That's good. good. Yeah. Uh, ladies, I can't believe you did it. <laughs> what you did, absolutely crazy. But I'm so glad you did because you've entertained the whole nation. And I want to start with you, my love. I, I want to ask you, why is it that you decided to do this? Um, honestly, I just wanted to take a break from my family. That is the first reason. <laughs> ah, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yes. I wanted to take a break from my family. Mm -hmm. um, but I actually wanted to, to go into a place where, you know, I'd be pampered mm -hmm. and I was a queen. <laughs> and when I go to her house and... I realized she does everything. I'm like, no, <laughs> not no. no. This oh. is not what I signed up for. But it was really, really amazing. Oh. Um, yeah, I wanted to take a break from my family and just learn and see how other families live ne and how other husbands actually treat their wives. Yes, yeah. I love that. And I want to come to you, Norsi, because okay. I mean, just like she said, it was an experience, right? But talk to us about how it was for you, kind of going into a new home and now being the wife of this new family. Family. Speak to us about that. Okay. Um, it, it was nerve wracking for me. Mm. Yes. Because I didn't know the type of people I'm going to. True. Um, the moment I walked in, I saw the surname Shezi. I'm thinking it's a Zulu guy. Yes. I'm probably going to have to walk on my knees. I'm not walk on my knees. No, no, no. When I saw. Yeah. So it, it was a bit difficult for me because. I'm not able to be separated from my husband even for a minute. Aww. Yes, so it was a whole emotional week. Mm. Fell in love with the kids. Mm. It was another thing. So from the moment they went to school, I picked up on that day. I got emotional because mm. they're now leaving. I'm going to be alone without them. Yeah. I looked forward uh, to see them coming back from school and cuddle them and all that. And I'm missing my kids. Yay. Yes. So it was just... I was looking forward to go home because I missed my husband, I missed my kids. But when I had to leave, it was difficult because I had to leave them now. <laughs> That's so beautiful. I absolutely yes. love that. And you know what? Kids can make you just right. feel other sort yes. of emotions. Mm. Yeah. Which is why I want to ask you, Nkabati, you know, when it came to you guys and having the similarity of having three children each, mm. did you find it easy to kind of just like, you know, settle into the home because of that? Um, it wasn't easy, honestly. Mm. Um, so, yes, there is a similarity of three children, but hairs are very old, like they're older, okay. basically, right? Okay. So, they don't need my attention or anything. I don't need to run away from them or anything like that. Yes. Um, what just I found a bit challenging is that the kids don't want to clean. So, really? that means, again, okay, mommy does everything. That means I don't have mommy time. Yeah. You know, and her husband is complaining, you take too much me time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That so, really shows you the contrast. <laughs> yes. But so my kids are used to when mommy's cup is not full, mm. mommy's going to take time out okay. to go fill in the cup and then she's going to come and pour into us, right? Mm. This mommy is always with her family. Mm. So that was a bit challenging for me. I'm not always with them. I really, really just prefer my own space, my I own, you. you know. Um, yes, God bless me with beautiful, beautiful babies. <laughs> but um, they understand that when mommy's not okay, she's not going to give away that energy to us. She's going to go into her room and fill up her cup. I so it you. wasn't very easy at all. Though there is that similarity, it was not easy. Easy. Okay. And the red meat was not easy. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Yo, that was not easy. Can I tell you the funniest thing about what you just said in Kabati was her children are older, so I don't have to run away from them. Yeah. <laughs> you run away from I your own kids. That's so And funny. they find me. They yes. actually find me. I can literally uh, be in the bathroom in the back of the house. Yes. Choose Bob, the one that she loves the most, Asante, mm. will 
find me. Find you. <laughs> and sit with me in I the love bathroom. Her. Even if you're underneath the house, she'll she find will you. find me. That's so funny. You know? <laughs> but my no, see, uh, of course, this was an experience that allowed you guys to grow personally yes, yes. because of the way in which you were just, you know, thrust into this completely different world. How did it help you grow in terms of just like the different lifestyles you've even decided to adapt, but also personally? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I took the, I um I, I love gym. So okay. I on from her house I took the green smoothie thing. Okay. Because I, I at first I, I I didn't want to do it because I I pictured like I'm gonna be tasting spinach. Yeah. Yes. I love eating. I eat for a living. So yes. I just I just need to eat, mm. no, not drink. So I I love that. I kept that. Yes. And the the prayer sessions with the kids in the house. <laughs> I, I kept that. That's beautiful. Yes, yes. The, her kids prayed for me. On the oh. first day, like they mentioned me in their prayers, I cried. <gasps> That's, That's beautiful. Yes, it, that, was, that was beautiful. Mm. So I loved that. That is incredible, ladies. And have you guys had a little bit of a debrief? Being like, oh, yeah, you know, this is this is how it was on this side and this is how it was on that side. Have you had those chats or um, not as yet? Yeah, we do chat on, on WhatsApp mostly. Yes. And um, we are actually organizing to, to, to meet, meet again. Yes. Lovely. Because the kids do actually miss her. They call her <laughs> second mommy or the other mommy. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, so I'm going to cry again. Oh! <laughs> Ladies, I am so glad that it was a positive, beautiful experience for you because I think that that's what we wanted to be at the yes, end of the day, yes. to go and have that time, but then to also just like understand just how great it can be to connect in that way. So thank you so much for that. And thanks for entertaining South Africa. All right, thank man. you. We do appreciate <laughs> thank you so much. Thank, thank you for having so us. Of thank course. You. Expresso family, we want to hear what you have to say all in the name of Wife Swap that happens at 6 p.m. right here on S3 each and every Monday because we got people like these lovely ladies who show us what it is to swap places go and take over another family as the wife it's not easy as you heard but it is an experience of a lifetime and this is why we want to hear from you on our social media pages at expresso show what do you think about this experiment my friend let us know and also you can even send us a voice note 063-408-8863 and in a bit we are going to be chatting to daniela may who is going to be letting us know what exactly it is that you can look at when it comes to an experiments such of this nature that actually allows you to grow but more than anything else all of the different surprises that we possibly don't even 100% know it's going to be happening right here on your feel good breakfast show in a little bit right about now though it is time for us to get into celebrating World Coffee Day. And this is the thing, my friend. It is going to be coming up. I need to ask very quickly. Cape Town family, are you feeling strong? Are you guys feeling confident? It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. You are tuning into Feel Good Breakfast Show Express right here on S3. We spoke to the wives a little bit earlier on wives step into each other's lives on a local version of Wife Swap, a television series where two families from different backgrounds with contrasting lifestyles and values agree to swap wives in a rather heartfelt and eye-opening social experiment for one whole week. Broadcasting right here on S3 every Monday at 6 p.m. Now, Daniela Mayer is a family therapist uh, therapist and divorce mediator and parenting coordinator and she's joining us this morning right now to give us uh, her input on this social experiment. Daniela, lovely to have you. So good to be here. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people would think like, yeah, this is this is bizarre, you know, let's swap wives, let's go into a different family dynamic, something that I'm not used to, but I want to know what your first thoughts when you look at a social experiment like this. First thoughts, I mean, your mind goes crazy. First thoughts is, <laughs> why would somebody want to do this? Yeah. For me, I'm like, that's crazy. <laughs> but then my second thought was, how amazing is it to actually put yourself out there in a situation with another family to see how other families live and how they actually communicate and function? Because as we know, we learn by watching different yeah. things. And perhaps there are certain instances where we could do things better. So I just want to congratulate all the couples who actually did this experiment for putting themselves out there to say, you know what, maybe there is a better way at certain things. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm also seeing it as as an opportunity for for the individual, the wife that's swapping a family to this, like you said, to learn something because we observe and you learn, but also maybe to pass something on uh, from, from, from where she comes from. And 
and I want to talk about that in terms of communication, uh, adaptability, emotional intelligence. How does that play into this social experiment mm. when you remove yourself from something that you know so well into something completely almost unfamiliar? So the first thing I want to say about that is as as in human existence, every single individual is unique. Mm. It's important to also remember that every family system is unique. And the reason why they function the way that they do is it's basically because they've been in that experience. Mm. They've worked out what works for them, what doesn't work for them. My biggest problem with relationships and marriages and families is that you often get into a rut of the system and you can't really see the wood for the trees at some point. So what's really nice about this whole experiment is that I'm hoping what people have learned is that there is a possibility that change could work for your family. So in terms of emotional intelligence, communication, for me the key is go and do the experiment as these lovely ladies have done, see what works for you, come back to your system and have the communication, the conversations about things that maybe you can do better. Mm. I love what you said also about giving something back to the other yeah, families, yeah. because as an outsider, you obviously have more of a, well, a less of an emotional attachment, and you might be able to see where there are holes in their system. Mm. So to be able to also in an emotionally intelligent way and a kind, compassionate way, give something and say, you know, these ladies seem to be getting on really well after the experiment and it seems like they have got a situation where they might be open to listening to the other person's opinion of what might work better. Mm. So without the experiment as a whole, that opportunity might not have existed. So I think it's wonderful. I think if we look at it uh, in, a, in a rather positive light, there's a lot that, that we can learn, even our viewers watching the show as well. But I want to know from you, uh, your professional opinion, where you come from as a divorce mediator, as a, as a therapist, what are some of the main challenges that you foresee going into a social experiment like this? Oh, well, I mean, <laughs> a big the one. challenge list would be endless. I mean, obviously the fear is that a wife gets to escape her family, sorry. Yeah, and I know one of the wives, but it was very light-hearted. <laughs> it eh? was very light I wanted to take a, take a break from my family for a little while. Yeah, but I mean, like, it's nice to be able to take that break. But the fear, obviously, is, oh, wait a second. I much prefer this situation. I don't want to be the one doing everything all the time. And then what if the the one mother comes back and says, you know what, this doesn't work for me at all anymore. Mm. And what happens if the family's not open to change, you know? Yeah. So that could be a big challenge. It could yeah. be a problem, which is why the emotional intelligence capa um, capacity and all of that kind of stuff is so important mm. because we have to be able to have the conversation properly. But I think the main idea that I actually just want to throw out there is that we hope, and I think that the whole purpose of this experiment is to teach people to be appreciative of what they actually have, yes. you know, because it's very difficult to go into somebody else's system. And we see this in multicultural situations, in different religions and everything. We know what we know. We are who we are. When we step out into somebody else's reality, mm. it's not quite comfortable for us. And Absolutely. sometimes we actually can't wait to get home. And I think you know? the good thing about that is stepping into a, an environment which is completely out of your comfort zone, you know, there's a lot of aspects that we can look at into a social experiment like this, but one that stands out for me is the ability to communicate correctly and properly. And I think that is one of the biggest takeaways that I think these wives will learn, or will have to learn, because if your communication isn't up to scratch, but your family got used to the way of, you know, you communicating, and now you're going to a family where there is communication, that could be a challenge, but that's a big learning curve that's, already. Yeah, it's huge. Because it's in any relationship, you would know how important communication, the correct communication is. Absolutely. I mean, communication is key. So, again, like my hope for these couples and for everybody who watched it, who maybe um, picked up some lessons along the way as a viewer, my hope is that they would learn that if something doesn't work for you, even if you're married, you're allowed to bring it to the table yeah. and you're allowed to I, I've actually done a whole segment on my personal socials about child-centered parenting and families and the whole point is to include your children in the conversation and I, I bring this up because I think a big theme for me in the in the previous segment was how the mothers seem to 
love the children, each other's children, and that kind of grounded them in the experience and gave them the opportunity to feel safe. Yeah, that's so in terms of having children around in the conversation, is so important because we are not the owners and the bosses of our children, you know, we're their protectors. Mm. So to be able to sit at a table, a round table, with your husband or your wife, whoever's swapping, with your children and say, listen, guys, we are a team. We've had this experience now. I think that this is going to work better. What do you guys yeah. think? <laughs> that might be the absolute game changer. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, thank you so much. Appreciate your insights into this. But nonetheless, it's going to be entertaining. That is for sure to watch it. So make sure you catch all of that action on WipeSwap SA on S3 every Monday at 6 p.m. I know you're going to enjoy it. Check this out. The hit series Wife Swap is coming soon. Bye, Mommy! Two wives trade homes, families, and husbands. The haircut kind of gives a, a Karen look. Ah! You'll obey our homes. Oh, no. Leading to an epic clash of values. You will now cook. You get abused. Can I have the phone back? It's a lunch. <laughs> you need to have that spark. I go in. She can go back to the husband. Wife Swap South Africa, every Monday at 6 p.m., brought to you by S3 and SABC Education.